everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie V. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying out or using a bunch of new skincare products that I've gotten in the past like couple of weeks. I've been doing a lot of hauls and unboxings and I've been like really waiting to use these like oh I'll use it here and I was like you know what I'm just gonna do a get on ready with me trying new skincare stuff. So if you were excited to see the new items I'm using and what I think about them then go ahead and keep watching. All right, so we're just pinning up our hair right now, which I don't have much of because of my haircut, but I should still pin it. Oh, I guess I should take my lashes off first, right? Ah! Oh, not everything that I'm gonna be using today is new, but a large part of it is, but I just wanted to kind of give like a PSA so people aren't like, that's not new. But if you also are interested in this makeup look, I uploaded it on Monday, just take a peek here. After you're done watching, you take it off. So the first thing I'm going in is the Tula Skincare Hashtag No Makeup Replenishing Cleansing Oil. So I just put that in my hand and I rub it together and then I rub it on my face, gently on my eyes. I will say I feel like this does not do as well as the Clean Genie from um, Wishful, but I don't have any of that right now. I'm just trying to use this before I order any more. It just doesn't break it down as easy and I feel like I wind up using way more product than what is needed so if you see here I still have some that's kind of like on there where the clean genie will get that in like one little scoop and it's all broken down like my phone here like oh okay and then I just wipe it off now usually I will do this obviously above my sink so what I do is after I use the cleansing balm I just go in with my makeup eraser with nothing on it but water and just wipe all that away. Now it's okay if you don't get everything with your cleansing balm or cleansing oil because we double cleanse. We okay, so back. now that I have all that off, I do like to wipe my face because we're about to use cleanser. I don't usually do this if I'm over the sink, but because my face has dried. So what I'm going into is the e.l.f. Mint Melt minty refresh minty fresh cooling cleanser with a with clean hands splash water onto your face massage the foam cleanser into your face and neck in an upward motion while avoiding the eyes rinse thoroughly with water and pat dry so this is it i got this in a drugstore haul a while ago like two weeks ago maybe three weeks and i haven't used it doesn't smell like mint that sounds weird so i don't really <laughs> I don't really care for foaming cleansers because a lot of the times they will dry me out but we're here to try it so let's see I think I did way too much you guys think I did way too much I definitely did way too much this wasn't an unnecessary amount so now I take the other end of the cloth and I dip it in and the reason I do it in half is because I feel like I don't need a whole cloth for my face and it is a very big cloth it's long and I don't want to be wiping like my cleanser off with makeup that's already in my cloth so I just split it in half and use it that way like it feels very refreshing usually after I remove a foaming cleanser it feels so dry but this actually is not bad and I definitely can feel like a cooling sensation on my face it's very strange all right so now that we are done with the water portion of it I do like this and it was pretty inexpensive so if you have this at like your local drugstore I say check it out because it wasn't so bad and I feel like I feel clean because of like I feel like the minty part of it the cooling portion but it also looks nice like and my skin doesn't feel like tight you yeah, know y'all know what I mean so what am I gonna go into next so the next thing I'm doing is the lip plumping serum by truly I did do an Ulta haul and I got this from there and I just wanted to try it again so it says it's supposed to plump your lips and it has hyaluronic acid in it I didn't feel any lip plumping situation going on I put a lot on right now but I will tell you I've been using this the past like week and it does like hydrate my lips but it's not meant to be like a balm so I would definitely go in with a balm afterwards and put that on so the next thing I'm going to try are the coach and Sephora collection eye masks so this is like the only part that I didn't collect like this is not a collector thing I wanted just to try these um, but like the brushes and stuff I did decide to just make those collector pieces so I haven't used them 
Oh, they don't come, they just come stuck together. Usually masks will come with like little paper on it, but not this one. Oh, it actually smells really good. It feels really nice. And it also smells like the truly stuff I'm gonna be using on my face. So it's kind of, it's kind of tingling a little bit. If it gets too crazy, I'm gonna have to take it off because I don't want any tingling near my eyeball. And we have to leave that on for how long? 15 minutes. So let's see what it says about it. Now introducing this limited edition collaboration inspired by rebels and dreamers and uniting coaches free spirited. Okay, these eye masks enriched with cucumber extract and rose oil impart a soothing feeling around the eyes with a fresh touch. This set comes with three pairs. So I will say, um, this is like, it's kind of stinging a little bit, which I'm kind of, kind of worried about. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little curious as to why it's stinging my face. So I usually use the Truly lip balm, but that is downstairs because I literally, I just got it, but that's, I use it all the time now. So I'm just gonna go in with some leftovers of my Huda Silk Balm. So that's what I was saying about the serum. It's really nice and hydrating, but it's definitely not a balm. It's something you wanna put under a balm. So while this is on my face, we're gonna go in with the Mary Jane CBD Glow Serum. This was also a product that was got in the Ulta Beauty um, haul. Just all these new things that I've been getting lately, I just wanna be able to try them and actually use them. But when it comes to skincare, I'm so picky about my skincare, it's not even funny. Just I remember this smell from when I did the haul. It smells so good this is kind of what these patches smell like but this one smells like way better and i do put this on my eyelids so i'm just putting that everywhere except for obviously where the patches are and this stuff feels so good even like my eczema so i have eczema around my mouth if you're not new here you can kind of see it um it literally does not bother it one bit not one single bit. So the next thing for the face is going to be the Mary Jane CBD Glow Mask. And that is also from Truly. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. And so I'm just going to wait a few minutes while my masks finish up because I want to put that sleep mask all over my face. So we'll be right back. Okay. Oof. Now that we're done with those. And then what I do is I just lightly go in with my fingers and we'll tap it on the eyelids and just tap it in to the area around my eye. So it did make my face just a little bit red right here. So just keep that in mind. If you have sensitive skin like I do, it, was, it did kind of burn just a smidge. So I'm gonna go in with that Truly mask and a brush and just because I don't want to just stick my fingers in there. I want to put a lot of this one because it smells good. And when I tried it, like I did like a quick dab on that video where I showed you guys what I got. And it was so good. It felt so nice. It really, really did. All right. And then now we just gently, and I put a lot on, I know. So don't come for me. I know how much I put on. I have very, very dry skin and I do it all the way down my neck and all the way on my ears and I put this on my eyes as well. Oh, I feel so good. The reason I put so much on is because I do have really dry skin so it doesn't take long for something to absorb and then it's just dry again. So that's why I put quite a bit on if that makes any sense. So the one thing that I would say about that mask, I really do like it and I like how it makes my skin feel and look like it looks glowy and nice but it's kind of sticky so I wouldn't just let that be like the last thing that you put on your face. Um, I would go in with a moisturizer for sure. So this is another new product I got from Morphe's website. This is the Lanolin Lano Face Base. This is a vitamin E day cream. Oh look how thick. Dang boy you thick. <laughs> like geez. God. Like that feels nice though. It's very soothing. I think I used a vitamin E cream a long time ago. Right, this is hydrating, nourishing, nourishing, and rich. This is a travel size. And then I don't see anything else about it. Apply to the face. It's all the directions say. So it's just a vitamin E day cream. So I decided to put that one. And then the last thing that I'm going to do today is going to be my moisturizer. But this is not a newer product. This is just my absolute 110% favorite face cream. This is the Belief True Bomb Cream. And when I tell you, 
like nothing else in this world makes my skin as hydrated and supple and soft as this cream i mean it i spent like 62 dollars on this container every month or so all right and the last last step after my belief cream is my good old sunscreen this is also not new i have used the sunscreen this is the weightless liquid mineral sunscreen from first aid beauty i am a big fan and i also every time i talk complexion every time i talk skincare this is how you keep your skin looking nice okay this is it this is the goal this is the tea sunscreen 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 and then i am ready and out the door and look how good my skin looks what oh my goodness okay so i am a big fan i will say of the truly products i didn't mind the elf cleanser either because it didn't feel like it dried my skin out um, the eye patches, I don't know that I will use them again or ever buy them again. They really burned under here and the vitamin E cream was very thick. So I know it says a day cream, but I'll probably use it at night because this was like really, really thick. It almost didn't let me put my moisturizer over it properly, but I think all in all, like my skin looks and feels really, really nice. So truly has become like... Oh, like I didn't even use this brand and now I'm just like ooh. so I think I might do a haul or something if there's anything truly related or anything from that brand you guys recommend comment below and let me know for sure because I would love to try it out because I'm slowly like just falling in love with this brand I love the lip balm I use that one all the time and like these masks like look at my skin looks so good and so supple oh but that is it for today's video guys I hope you liked it if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me make sure you are subscribed to my channel I do six videos every single week and you do not want to miss out on those and I will see you guys on the next one bye